Hello everybody, this is Allsouse Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. In the previous episode, things have taken a turn for the worst for the Phantom Thieves. Like, in the worst way possible. We've been set up. Well, we know that. They don't quite know that. Unfortunately, we still have to keep going, and I'm gonna warn you guys right now, a lot of this episode, if not all of this episode, is gonna be pretty much story. Like, now I'm willing to bet all of it's gonna be story-based. We're pretty much locked in. There are some things we can do in the evening, but we're pretty much stuck doing story, getting railroaded for a while. What are you gonna do today? Anyways, this evening we are going to hang out with the twins. Alright, time to name the location. Justine, you do the honors. No. Listen closely. The place we wish to evaluate your re for your rehabilitation is one halfway detached from this world. It is said the time spent there is like that of a dream. Men and women of all ages swarm the land, forgetting reality in search of happiness and wonder. This sounds like a similar form of escapism from the fantasies we saw in the movie theater. A sinister trap that ensconces humans. If such a place truly exists, then we must observe it in action ourselves. Does this location sound at all familiar to you? Could be Destiny Land over in Maihama. What'll you do? You mean Destiny Land? Hmm. Destiny Land? Hmm. <laughs> what an absurd name. Come on, let's get going, inmate. Go, go! Caroline. What excites you so? That bear's walking on its hind legs. Is it a demon of some sort? Is there a king living in that castle? Shouldn't we pay him our respects first? The parade's starting. Go, go, go. What? What is that thing? It's huge. This gleeful music, the rhythmic, monotonous dancing, the grins plastered across every spectator's face. <sighs> this overstimulation is making me grow dizzy. Aha! This is a brainwashing scheme, isn't it, inmate? It's just a parade. Really? They all appear entranced to me? Make sure you don't befall the same fate. Although it may benefit us to investigate just how they pull off such a successful mass brainwashing. Justine, let us conduct an inspection of the premises. Lead the way, inmate. Hmm, that wasn't nearly as impressive as expected. You say that now, despite appearing quite captivated before. What with your outbursts like, that bear is so cute, and let's get in line to meet the characters, and so forth. I, I said nothing of the sort. I was merely going through the motions in the guise of a brainwashed human. That's all it was. Come on, let's Look, go. there's another line. Let's see where it goes. I suppose we don't have a choice now. We had better catch up to our inmate. <sighs> Can't believe it stood in line for... I don't even know how long, and it only led to a bathroom. I was hoping we get to ride one of those massive crazed teacups going around in circles. Hey, inmate! What was that, inmate? Eh, when you gotta go. Understandable, but doesn't that mean the long wait time is a critical flaw? Hey, inmate. Don't you prefer your prison cell to this place? There's no line to use the bathroom there. Well, that was fun. I mean, that was a functional assessment. Assignment. But we've had enough for today. Time to head back. Just a moment, Caroline. I have heard it is customary to bring back some sort of token gift for one's superiors after visiting a place such as this. We should buy something for our master while we have the chance. I perused the wares on display earlier. The mouse ears or the stuffed bear? Which do you think our master would prefer? Funny as it might be, the stuffed bear. And by that, I mean the ears. The master, cuddling a stuffed <laughs> bear. <laughs> uh, Justine? <laughs> It seems that even I could not avoid the brainwashing. Please keep this a secret from our master. In any case, we have confirmed the existence of a world of dreams. As such, we formally acknowledge your assignment as complete. Here is your reward. Look at the smiles on these people's faces. It's as if they've been liberated from their everyday lives. A human's desire to dream even reaches into their time in the waking world. A rather curious phenomenon for us, as we dwell in the space between dream and reality. 
Ooh, is another brainwashing parade beginning? Now, let we us have return. no need for that again. Let us return, inmate. I escort the twins back to the velvet room as ordered. And now it's exams for the next three days. Uh. Pulling all nighters is the worst. I really should have started studying sooner. At least the school's festivals soon. School festivals soon. It's the thing I'm looking forward to most right now. Yeah, but are they still going to hold it? It might get cancelled. Don't say that, you're bumming me out before the exams. Things are bad enough as is. If they cancel the festival, the students will riot. Did you hear those rumors? She's so lucky. It's almost like her test scores don't matter. I wonder if they really are from our school. Teachers are doing a 180 on the honor student. She's on the podium. Good for her. Phantom thieves have gone off the deep end, don't you think? I thought they were going to change that CEO's heart, but they ended up killing him instead. Haven't people been saying they killed Principal Kobayakawa, too? I thought they were bad, but I never expected they'd turn out to be murderers. Oh, man. Does this mean anyone who gets targeted is screwed? Quiet down. I'll now be handing out your exam booklets. Oh, boy. Well, shall we begin? For the first day of exams begin. Counting both black and white surfaces, how many surfaces are there in total on a soccer ball? 32. Ooh, we can do this! Let's see, an essay question. Looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Provide an explanation why for the uh, for why the soccer ball is only comprised of the colors black and white. Soccer balls. Didn't the teacher say the, used to say the number of colors used to be different? Do you remember? It used to be one color. Right, it was only one color, but that wouldn't really grab your eye. Oh yeah, I remember. I think she said it that, unlike now, soccer games were broadcasted with... Black and white picture. Right, a single colored ball would be hard to spot in black and white. So they changed the color of the ball to make it easily identifiable on TV. Yep. Uh -huh. Time is up. Put down your pencils and put your hands under your desks. You're still rooting for the Phantom Thieves? You know they're murderers, right? That doesn't mean that criminals should be left to do whatever they want. Still, couldn't they have at least left the principal to the police? And I mean, did you see that press conference? No way Allies of Justice would do that. I wonder if Akechi-kun has been right all along. He's so admirable sticking to his guns even though so many people were against him. That's enough. If you don't quiet down, I'll have to ask you to leave. Now, everyone. This is the second day of your exams. Please begin. Who conducted executions using this device? Charles Henry Sasson. Ooh, we can do this! What is the reason that most people cannot become a cormorant fisherman of Nagara Sawa? It's a hereditary profession. Ooh, we can do this! Phantom thieves have got to be students here, right? I mean, they killed our principal. Isn't this insane? There are murderers among us. Now that you mention it, there was a guy in Shibuya who told me he's a phantom thief the other day. For real? You gotta report that. Oh crap. You think so? I snapped a pic, so I should probably put it online just in case. I hope the cops catch him. Okay, class, let's Today is the third day of exams. Go ahead and start. What is the meaning of robata, the entomological root of robot? Slave labor. Ooh, we can do this! Which of the following describes the density of stars in outer space? Three bees in all of Europe. Ooh, we can do this! Hmm. 
Today's the last day of exams, huh? Well, it shouldn't be a problem for you. This has been so easy, I might start yawning. You did perfectly. I can't wait to see your score. The police are here again? Yeah, seems like it's for real this time. Apparently one of our students is a phantom thief. Seriously? I read the same thing online. Apparently public security is already on the move. It's me. There's something I want to talk to everyone about. I'll be at the hideout. I mean, our place. It's open. Come in. Um. I... Welcome. Ah, you're the third year Okumura-san, correct? So good to see you. Please, have a seat. <sighs> Are you okay? Uh, y yes I'm sorry, I did come here because I wanted to, but I'm not exactly adept at saying what's on my mind. Oh, well, that's perfectly fine. I'm not all that great at chatting with people either. Excuse me? Oh? <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. How about some snacks? No need to be modest here. You have my thanks. Uh, thank you. I'm alright, though. Um, it, I must be pretty weird, right? I came here for counseling, but I can't seem to say anything. Well... Not weird in the least. Just take your time. We'll go at whatever pace you need. And if you still don't feel comfortable by the end of our time, well, just have some tea and head on home for the day. I do enjoy tea time. Perhaps I'll feel more relaxed if I think of all this in that way. Quite. Absolutely. Nobody's going to de-stress if they come in here all worked up like, I have to talk right now. Thing of this is just sneaking away to relax with some tea would probably help you feel more open. Relaxing with some tea. I do that quite often, but on my own. Do you find that more relaxing? Yes. The people closest to me in life, they don't really feel like people I could sit and enjoy some tea with. Even my family was always focused solely on work. I see. So, is mealtime essentially the same setup as tea time? Yes. Meals where we actually ate together were almost always uptight dinners at work-related events. I see. I've never been to upscale social events, so I'm not sure if I should ask this, but, well, didn't you ever feel lonely? I... Lonely? Mm, yes, I think so. If I were given the chance, I would have only wanted to spend more time with my family. Why don't we call it a day for now? Feel free to stop by again, anytime you like. Um... Oh, yes, I do apologize. It seems I extended this tea time much longer than I had intended. <laughs> <laughs> no problem at all. If anything, I am happy to hear it. I'll make sure to pick up snacks that pair well with tea. I received word from Poot... Uh, that that word from Futaba-chan about our upcoming meeting. There's still some time until we meet, though, so I'm going to go take care of my flowers first. See you later. I suppose plants do need watering after all. Oh, I know. You should go help Haru. I'll let the others know. <sighs> How troubling. What's wrong? Have you come up here to assist me? You, um, heard that, didn't you? I'm not worried about the garden, in case you were wondering. It's just, so much has happened to me lately. Any way I can help? Um, well, perhaps I could share this with you. I mean, it would be nice to have someone who is aware of my current situation in life. The source of my worries is my father's company. Dealing with the aftermath has been difficult. Given how unexpected the accident was, my father didn't have a will. All of his stocks transferred to me. Which means suddenly, I'm the biggest shareholder in a company of over 1,000 employees. But I don't know the first thing about business direction or fund management. 
Are you going to be okay? I am. Sorry, I didn't mean to worry you. It's just... I know I'm the president's daughter. But I never thought I'd actually end up involved in company business. Because of that, lately I've been meeting with all the various officers and lawyers my father employed. They've been giving me advice on all the things I'm not entirely sure about. Assets, stocks... It's clear some people only want to get on my good side, though. I don't know who I can trust. They try to sound comforting by saying things like, don't worry, or leave it to me. But it feels like they're really only being nice so they can get their hands on my bank account. I... I never realized I could be this distrustful of other people. Uh, I'm sorry for ranting on about this matter. I feel as though doing so has helped me calm down a bit, though. The only people I've consulted up to this point have been employees. But I think what I really needed was someone closer to my own age. Closer to my own viewpoint. Hmm. Um, if it isn't too much trouble, could we speak about this again some other time? In return, I'll... Hmm. What can I do to help you? I don't have any unique talents. How about this? You know, gardening. I'm actually quite skilled at it. A few years ago, I even managed to grow a tropical fruit on the balcony at my house. To be honest, this is what I do when I'm alone. To take my mind off of everything that's happened. <sighs> oh, that's right. I stored some vegetables in the refrigerator down in the home economics room. You still have some time, yes? Would you mind waiting here a moment? I grew these right here in these very planters, and harvested them myself not too long ago. There's not much consistency to their colors or shapes, but... Hmm. How do they taste? Hmm, I suppose it's umami mixed with a little bitterness? Either way, it's definitely unique. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask of you. I'd like to get Sakura-san's opinion on my vegetables. Do you think I could bring my next harvest over to your cafe? Oh, that's a great idea. Thank you. I'm sure Sakura-san will give me his honest opinion. I'll make sure this next harvest is particularly good. Well then, shall we head over to the hideout? Congrats on surviving midterms. <sighs> I think I'm screwed for real this time. I couldn't concentrate at all. Gathering everyone's opinions and immediately acting upon them. In order to make that natural course of action a reality, I will... Uh, again? It's so damn loud! More importantly, what's this you want to talk about? You said that something was on your mind before, but were you able to figure out what it was? The medjet that I banned wasn't the real one. Huh? Aren't you the real one, though? Oh, uh... The guy who called himself Medjet after me isn't the one from the other day. What do you mean? The code written by that guy the other day is different from any of the past Medjet. And that means... A code is like your fingerprints. No matter how you try to disguise it, your own quirks appear in it. The one from the other day was all cut and pasted with no consistency. No skill at all. But aren't there multiple people across the world that are part of Medjet? Couldn't it have been done by someone that joined recently? How do I put it? That code was so not done by anyone interested in cracking. At all. At the very least, there's no way it was an official Medjet member. So, someone used the Mejed name to provoke the Phantom Thieves? For what purpose? Could they have been doing it for fun? It was around the time our group started getting popular, so maybe they wanted in on the hype. Wait a moment. What if it's the other way around? Hmm? Perhaps they used the Mejed name to make the Phantom Thieves known. What? That makes no sense! 
I actually thought the same as Makoto. Why is that? Know how I just said that code is like fingerprints? I found those same fingerprints somewhere completely different. Where's that? The Phantom Aficionado website. There were traces of it being illegally tampered with from the outside. For real? For summer vacation, the access counter was made to be much higher than the actual number. Same with the rankings. Particularly the time when President Okumura ranked first. So then, the one who provoked the group and the one who tampered with the site are the same person? I think I'm starting to see the big picture. Both Medjed's provocation and the tampering of the website brought attention to us as a result. On top of that, our reason for targeting Okumura was influenced by the public and the rankings. The perfect timing and the perfect target. If both of those had been set up... It would all make sense. So the culprit was planning to put the blame on us from the start? No way. This is all hypothetical. We lack any hard evidence. But if all your deductions happen to be correct, that would mean we've been playing right into their hand for the past two months or so. We gotta be overthinking things. I mean, we're talking both the rankings and Medjed. Everyone made a big deal about it. If this was all set up, then what kind of guy did we make an enemy of? There's no point in getting anxious over speculation. Regardless, we'll be falsely charged at this rate, and with murder. We must overcome this. But we don't even know who we're up against. Hey, you think we're falling into another trap, even at this very moment? We don't know yet. Indeed, we don't. You thought to reopen it, and you proved its connection to the Phantom Thieves. This is based primarily on that achievement. I'm honored, sir. The Phantom Thieves issue is now a national crisis. Expectations are exceedingly high for us public prosecutors, as we are the executors of justice. Personnel and planning will be up to you on this case. You will also have the police under your command. I'd like you to oversee this operation. <sighs> You've yet to give an answer. Will you accept the task of eradicating the Phantom Thieves? I will give it everything I have. We'll have to prepare a higher position for you as well in the event that you succeed. I don't wish to apply extra pressure on you, but I assume your odds of success are high. Naturally, failure to accomplish this task is unacceptable. Do you understand? Of course. I will live up to your expectations no matter what it takes. That is all, then. I expect good results from you. I'm home. Hi, sis. Should I warm up dinner for you? No, it's okay. How about a bath? No need. I just came home to get a change of clothes. Are you going to stay at work then? I've been entrusted with a very important task. You look awful though. Aren't you tired? As an adult, there will be times when you will accept an assignment for which failure is not tolerated. It's all over for me if I can't win this. Still, if you were to collapse from exhaustion... This is my one chance to get a promotion. I heard detectives have been coming to your school. That must make it hard to focus on your studies. Don't worry, though. It will all be over soon. What do you mean? I'm going to catch the Phantom Thieves myself. Is that the important task you mentioned? It's none of your concern.
Oh my god. Sis has her sights set on the Phantom Thieves, and on Shujin Academy in particular. <sighs> this is bad. I need to let everyone know. Things have become somewhat troublesome, everyone. <clears throat> Just try to stay calm. What's wrong? Sis told me she's been entrusted with an important task regarding the Phantom Thieves. That means... Yes. The SIU must surely be on the move at this point. That's... bad? Wait, weren't they already investigating us, though? The police were doing so in secret. This operation is on a much different scale. Hold on a sec, what's this SIU thing anyway? Special Investigations Unit, an elite team that deals with huge cases like government scandals. I have heard that name on the news. They make headlines often. The real insane part is they haven't lost a case against a suspect in like 50 years. If they come after you, you're screwed. They're the best investigation force in Japan, and the most corrupt. Are we going to be arrested? Hmm. Doesn't this countermeasure seem somewhat extreme? Right or wrong, I think we're just way too famous at this point. As this is a country governed by law and corruption, they can't afford to ignore us for any longer. We may be the Phantom Thieves, but this is miserable. They probably have a pretty narrow suspect profile by now, too. Hey, don't scare us like that. It's okay, though. They don't have any evidence. Yes, I suspect they're frantically searching for some as we speak. No way they're gonna find anything, though. It's only a matter of time. We have to hurry and do something about this. Uh, everything's going to be fine. Unless they know about the Metaverse, there's no way they'll get any info on us. Some real convenient timing for the prosecution, though. Yeah. Anyways, nothing else to do but watch DVD. Oh. I saw you practicing your swing. Come on, join the golf club. Oh, you don't get it. Don't you know how stressed I am? I do get it. Because you're just like me. It's a story about a teacher who recruits a ragtag group of misfits to restore the tea club to its former glory. Yeah. He's not perfect, but he somehow manages to bring out the best in every student. I see. By carefully observing each student individually, he can encourage the group in the best way possible. And maybe you learned a thing or two about proficiency from watching this drama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, craft cinema, cinema, enjoyed it on a deeper level. Well then. Oof. Keeps on dropping. Damned Phantom Thieves! Haven't they found the Phantom Thieves yet? The government and the police are useless. Are they even trying? I wish I wouldn't spend tax dollars just to sit on their asses. A mysterious group of murderers and inept government? What's the world coming to these days? <sighs> Everyone's talking trash about us. The police are here again? How many times has this been now? Our school's gotten famous for all the wrong reasons. They revoked our honor status? This school is so messed up. What if the culprit really is from our school? They were there today too, right? Yeah, who do those damn cops think they are? They can't just stare us all down like that. Maybe the rumors are true. Maybe there's a phantom thief at our school. Okay, quiet down. The police are here at the school, so be sure not to get in their way. Oh, and for various reasons, the school festival got moved to the 25th. There was talk of canceling it, but we couldn't just do that. I'm sure the preparations will be rough, but don't push yourself too hard. Really? On a weekday? What kind of reasons are there? All this stuff about the principal and Kamoshida this year, I guess it's no surprise. Apparently the police are going to be interrogating all of the students here. Seriously? The police are at Shujin? They haven't come to my school. It seems they're calling students individually out of class to speak with them. 
Wait, does that mean we're gonna get called in too? Second years will start in the afternoon. Make sure you prepare yourselves mentally for this. They've gotta be looking for the culprit, right? Who knows? Be careful, guys. You should probably try not to say too much. They'll see through any lies you might try telling. I know. In any case, don't tell them anything unnecessary. Well then, next up is Takamaki-san and... You two will go together. Huh? Why together? Why? They'll probably have one of you wait outside. That's how they've been doing it so far. Uh, oh yeah, right. Those are the instructions the detectives gave us. Just don't say more than is necessary and try and get it over with quick. Take a seat. We're sorry to take your time. This will be over quick. Let's see. Ah, yes. You're the one currently under probation. It says here you had a dispute with Mr. Kamishida? Yeah, that happened. You're more hot-blooded than you look. You spend time with quite an interesting group. Yusuke Kitagawa and Haru Okumura? The more friends, the better, right? I'm sorry to have taken your time. You're free to go now. Oh, I almost forgot. There's just one more thing I have to ask you. Do you think the Phantom Thieves are associated with this school? I hope not. Don't worry. We're here to keep all of you safe, okay? Thank you for your time. Your responses will serve as great reference material. Takamaki-san is next. Could you ask her to come in? I got so nervous, I almost stuttered a few times. I thought I was used to police questioning by now, too. It seems we were all asked the same questions. That's how they get you. They do that on purpose, then wait for someone to slip up. I hope you didn't. It was probably fine. Oh, I would have been done for if they saw how sweaty my hands were, though. To think my name would come up as well. Sounds like we can't take the police lightly, either. Hey, didn't you think that detective guy was scary? Hmm. Seemed normal to me. Not to me. He looked like someone who's dealt with dangerous criminals. I'm sorry for all of this. It's because of my sister. That's not true, Mako-chan. It's not as though I hadn't predicted this would happen. And now that it's become reality, I'm unsure of what to do. We need to make sure we don't draw suspicion and work to clear our names. Right? Right. It ain't your fault, Makoto. I'm gonna try to see how far along this investigation really is. I'm worried about the police, too, but as of now, anyone in this city could be a mole. They were so popular, too. Haru, can I ask you to search your father's belongings for clues about a possible culprit? I... I know it may be tough on you. No, it's okay. Now isn't the time for me to look away. As for everyone else, you need to be cautious of how you spend your time at school. So, I've decided to have you three second years join me on the school festival executive committee. Why? It will allow us to gather without drawing suspicion. Plus, trying to blend in will only do the opposite. Ah, uh, fine. I agree. The more time I have to kill, the more time I'll spend worrying about all this stuff. No matter what happens, I don't want to regret my decisions. Don't jinx it! It would be no surprise if they came directly to our homes for questioning. They showed up at your school after all. I should remain cautious. For now, the best option is to stay on the defensive. But we won't make progress at this rate. Let's try and figure out who the real culprit is somehow, okay? Of course. <laughs> this is bad. Someone totally framed us. You don't say. Well, nothing else we can do today except watch a DVD. Oh. I make a fool of myself. 
yourself on the course. You've been preparing for this day. The only thing left to do is win. Teacher fired his students who were, fired up his students who were nervous before the golf tournament. Teacher knows his students well. He's giving different pep talks to each one of them. Or each of them. Oh. So we finished watching tea, huh? Mm hmm Okay. Well then. Yes. I have another suggestion. Call for the arrest of the Phantom Thieves, then mobilize the police. The rest will go as you mentioned. <laughs> Still, I'm truly amazed at the atrocious methods you come up with. I wonder what kind of people the culprits are. Probably some idiots with a misguided sense of justice. Look, can they just arrest those guys already? Special Investigations is on it. I'm sure they'll be caught soon. What kind of people are they? I want to see what they look like. Uh, what's going on? Totally froze up when the cops talked to me. I bet they consider me a suspect now. How much longer are they going to do this? We should be busy preparing for the school festival right now. Why'd the school have to have the festival so late anyway? I mean, changing the date just because our school is all over the news? We get to next Tuesday only makes more work for us. We won't be able to invite friends from other schools now that we're holding the festival on a weekday. It'll also be an inconvenience to anyone we already invited. And what about the post-festival party? Will there be enough people for the student sharing special? It's going to be a real weird festival with morale so low. <sighs> Speaking of the annoying media, we've been getting phone calls in the faculty office. The absurdity of it all. Who exactly are the Phantom Thieves? That's what we want to know. We really have no clue what method they're using. Killing someone without directly interacting with them is like magic. Uh, speaking of magic, did you know that there's magic in Math 2, a magic square? It's a square in which adding up the numbers in any row, column, or diagonal gives you the same total. Nakamura-san, please look at this. Do you know this one? Now, tell me the total count for each column in this magic square. Fifteen. This is it. Correct. That's correct. It's easy once you know which numbers fit in the empty squares. 3x3 three three square only has one pattern, but a 4x4 four four square has 880 possibilities. In a 5x5 five five square, there are more than 200 million. Can you believe that? Wow, really? Nakamura-kun seems kind of smart, doesn't he? Nice going. Wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. If I had to, if you had to choose, would you try to find the Phantom Thieves or solve 200 million magic squares? I'd choose the magic squares, hands down. They might both be magic, but magic squares can be calculated. And math doesn't kill anyone. Eh, depends. Mm. Having everyone out there looking for the culprit is getting me down. So, what do we got to do as the school festival execs committee? Yeah, as the school festival's exec committee. I'll need some help with the questionnaires. What questionnaires? The ones regarding who people want to see as the guest of honor. All oh, right, that thing they do every year. You mean how those lame guests come to do a panel, right? The festival's dates were changed because of the situation. We need to hurry and tally the results. Come to the student council room once classes are over. Oh, that's so damn boring. Don't be like that. It's so we can meet up without standing out. Let's do what we can at the moment. I'm making sure to work hard at home. But you do that all the time. I can look stuff up. So, did you find anything, Haru? About that. No good, huh? I'm sorry. It'll rouse suspicion if I ask too many detailed questions. 
No worries. I'll manage on my end somehow. We're counting on you. I can't go, but message me if anything happens. I will leave this to you guys. My apologies, but I cannot be of much help in this much situation. Damn it. I don't have time to be doing crap like this. You don't need to keep mentioning it. We're doing this to keep suspicions off of us, remember? Goro Akechi. This one too, Akechi. They're mostly the same over here as well. Everyone's so eloquent when they can be anonymous. It's like they never accepted us to begin with. It would be nice if you did some work too, Ryuji-kun. You came to help us count these, right? Come on, leader. Can you tell him too? Take this seriously. We're gathering information too. You know, like, uh, online and stuff. I guess that's one way of saying it. Whoa, look here. This ain't good. Criminal profiling? The acts of thievery committed by the Phantom Thieves are mere fakes. And their true goal is murder? Every heart they changed before Okumura was just a warm-up? Uh, so now they're accusing us of being a bunch of killers. God, this is so effing stupid! Damn it! We have the results. First place is Goro Akechi. What? Akechi? What are you so surprised for? We've been mentioning him this whole time. Seriously? Not some singer or an idol? It's because of us that his popularity has skyrocketed. We're the ones counting the results. Can't we just make him up? We don't have to get him. People will figure that out. He won by a landslide. I knew people would vote for him, but this is way more votes than I was expecting. It would be best for us to avoid inviting such a clear danger upon ourselves. I'd like a little more time to think about who to ask. That reminds me. How was Futaba-chan doing? She seemed like she was looking into something on her own. Has she told you anything? <laughs> Not a word. It's not that I don't trust her, but... Even one clue would work wonders for us. We should let her continue with her own investigation. I hope she finds something. Hey. In response to the police identifying the Phantom Thieves as primary suspects, Goro Akechi had this to say. Even though my opinion has been met with criticism, I've held fast that the Phantom Thieves are not just. However, I believe the recent series of suspicious deaths is unrelated to their actions. W what Did I hear you correctly? But Akechi-san, you were the first to caution everyone about the Phantom Thieves. Were you not? This doesn't change the fact that they are indeed a dangerous group. That said, I would like to express that immediately linking them to this case is far too hasty. There are still many questions to be answered here. It feels as though there is more to this. After this conference, Akechi-san announced he will be limiting his media appearances and... I wonder why the sudden change? I'm super stuck on my own Kumara investigation. Seriously? Even you're having trouble with this shit? What should we do? Let's meet up and discuss our options as soon as possible. Tomorrow? The earlier the better, right? Though I still haven't come up with anything myself. It's said two heads are better than one, so I can only imagine what eight heads may produce. That's a good way of thinking. It's totally an Inari idea. Okay, let's do everything we can right now. Even if it means crossing some dangerous bridges. Considering how far we've come, we can't be particular about our methodology. What are you staring at your phone like that for? Uh, oh, are you going through a breakup? It's a secret. Don't let things get complicated, okay? Having to keep dealing with that stuff later on is a pain. By the way, you haven't been causing any trouble, have you? I heard the police showed up at your school. Uh, it's nothing about me. As long as you're not getting involved. <sighs> well, fine. 
Okay, then. Well, we're actually going to head out for once, and we're going to head to the movie theater in Shinjuku and watch a movie. It's not like we can do much else right now. Wow. Right now, we're just in time to see the Dovengers. It's a story about of the most useless people in the world forming a team to fight aliens. Mm. Huh. Looks like this movie can teach you how to improve your kindness. <laughs> well... Aliens return to their home planet out of pity? Does that mean the humans won? I can feel the pity that the aliens had for those heroes. Hmm. We even watched the credits all the way to the end. Alright, let's go home. What does that detective think he's doing? He's just trying to get popular, isn't he? He wants to stand out. Just hurry up and arrest the Phantom Thieves already. I'm curious. It seems like he knows something. I bet he found out some really juicy secret. Makoto, has Nijima-san told you anything about the investigation? Well, Sis actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. Regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for our school festival. I'm considering asking a Kechikun. For real? Weren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? I understand this is dangerous, but without a powerful source of intel, we won't be able to win against the police network, and I can no longer rely on my sister for information. Wait, is this because of Akechi-kun's police connections? You're going to use him as your powerful source of intel? Bold move. I'm surprised to hear that suggestion coming from you, Makoto. Did you see his press conference yesterday? One of his comments defending the Phantom Thieves stood out to me. There is more to this. I think he said that knowing for certain that the Phantom Thieves would be watching. Still, there will be so many other students at the school festival what are the odds of success? It's a gamble, and the odds are less than favorable. But we can no longer afford to hesitate. What are your thoughts? Should we invite Akechi-kun? <sighs> You're sure about this? I'm not, but we have to do this. Is everyone else okay with that? I'm good. Whatever he says has got to be more reliable than what I've been able to come up with. It would be reassuring to gain him as an ally, rather than simply a source of information. Hold on, how are we even going to get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. Yeah, I've got his number. For real? Could you send that my way, please? I'll contact him right away. I gotta say, I'm really not big on this Akechi deal. Now's no time to be petty. Just think of him as a source of intel, nothing more. I have a response already. He says, let me think about it. Wait a sec, didn't he say he wasn't gonna do any more stuff for the media? That's likely why he's so hesitant. What are we gonna do if he turns us down? I'll keep trying, maybe frustrating. But he's all we have at the moment. We need him to do it, no matter what. We're counting on you, Makoto. <sighs> Who would have thought we'd end up relying on a catchy? Yeah, alright. Usual Sunday affair, get a drink from the underground walkway in Shibuya. Also gotta return that DVD. Hey, hi! 
Normally this will be knowledge, of course in my case it's kindness, but oh well. Nice. All right. Let's see, Central Street to return the DVD. Technically, we don't really need to do this, but eh, may as well. Gotta love that they actually go out of their way to change up the uh, areas. Take a look around. Based on the holidays, makes it feel like a real lived-in place. Let's see then. Usual chunky katsu that I'm never gonna use. And now, we're going to talk to the twins. I'm not sure if I can do this from Kichi Joji, but let's find out. What are you going to do today? All right. No. The place we wish to evaluate for rehabilitation is a repository for so-called art exhibits. Apparently, such places collect many objects solely for the purpose of displaying them. Autumn is supposedly referred to as the season of the arts in your world, so it is especially appropriate timing. Art is, the express is an expression of the heart. It echoes the soul of both artists and viewers. Or so I've heard. The strength of one's heart is the strength of their persona. I am certain this place shall aid in the inmate's rehabilitation. Does this location sound familiar to you? Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. Art Museum in Ueno. What will you, do? you mean the art museum? Let's go, ah, so you do know it. Take us there immediately, inmate. Onward, inmate. What is it that humans call art? We shall see for ourselves. <sighs> I see. Our prior information was correct. There seem to be a great number of objects on display here. Are all of these art exhibits? Are these all art exhibits? I've heard of them before. Apparently they involve humans' aesthetic senses or something. Let's go inspect the premises. Are you even capable of appreciating art properly? What? What do you mean by that? Stop shouting so loudly. The signs prohibit it. I know. Anyway, let's go appreciate some art already. <sighs> Phew, the number of pieces on display far exceeded my expectations. Art sure does take many forms, though. Some of the work was downright photorealistic. Actually, wouldn't it be easier to just take photos in those situations? And what's with those portraits, or whatever they call- or whatever they're called? What's the point of painting a giant human face? Those landscapes are even more incomprehensible. What is so interesting about painting some dull, uh, painting of some dull terrain? Where's the fun in painting living humans or scenery just so that other humans can look at it? Hmm. It's for self-satisfaction. So you mean to say the artists only craft what they want to see exist? And then they just sit back and listen to people discuss and appreciate their work in places like this? Such a pointless gesture, yet so human at the same time. Speaking of, there was one exhibit that just looked like a bunch of scribbles. Why would something like that be displayed? I can understand different art having different levels of craftsmanship, but wasn't that simply on par with a child's? No, if anyone is the child here, it's you. Even I could sense something special from that painting. Excuse me? What are you on about? It's scribbles. Any way you look at it, the face is all screwed up, the nose and ears are wrong. That painting is an accurate depiction of the darkness within the human heart. How unfortunate, Caroline, that you seem to lack even a shred of aesthetic sense. Excuse me? I'll tell you who's lacking, Justine. You're lacking proper eyesight. No. Perhaps you lack any sense at all. Sounds like you need a good shock to the brain. The same could be said for you. Hey, inmate, are you going to tell me that mess of a sketch is actually art? It's art. <laughs> it's time you admit defeat, Caroline. Damn it. <sighs> Your opinion's not valid, inmate. Say, did you see the painting that looked like a bunch of scribbles? Apparently it's worth 500 million yen. What? Even my youngest could make something like that. Something that looked like that. What? 500 million? That makes no sense whatsoever. 
I wholly agree with you on that. This requires further study. Let us continue to inspect the premises. We saw a great deal of interesting displays. But that last sculpture we saw, that was nothing but a tasteless reproduction of a naked body. Are you really going to tell me that counts as art, too? I thought this co human concept of beauty simply took many forms, but it has spread all the way into the realm of the bazaar. Why do humans even pursue this beauty in the first place? Do you also waste your efforts striving towards beauty, inmate? I do. You're free to do so, but you better focus on your rehabilitation. Work on a beautiful heart before fussing about with your looks. But anyway, we've seen the art that humans are so fond of. This assignment is officially complete. Here's your reward. Regenerate 3. I still haven't learned why some of the humans call autumn the season of the arts, though. Well, whatever. How about we head back and try to make our own paintings? A fine idea. What shall we paint? A guillotine? The master? Fine. Yeah, we'll figure it out when we're back. Hey, inmate. Get to stepping. I escorted the twins back to the Velvet Room. Good morning. Um... Senpai, well... have you been sleeping well? You look kind of tired. It might not be my place to ask, but are you okay? What do you mean? No. Um, never mind. It's nothing. That reminds me, tomorrow is the school festival, isn't it? Is your class finished with preparations? Feels kind of nice, working with everyone to put all the things together. I hope we all have a fun time tomorrow. Well, I'm going to do some training today, so please excuse me. Hey. You hear who we're getting for our guest this year? Oh, you mean a catchy, right? I kind of saw that coming. Everyone I know voted for him. Didn't he say he wasn't going to make any more appearances, though? Why did he agree to come here? Probably has to do with the Phantom Thieves. Wasn't the catchy going around saying how evil they were before? Oh uh, yeah, that proves they're connected to our school somehow then. Hey, you're right. Yeah, maybe he'll tell us some stuff about the case. No way am I going to miss the panel this year. Mm. Hmm. They just say whatever they want with no thought. But for now, we'll just need to endure it. At least until we can get some more intel. Yes. I met a friend from college the other day. We got caught up talking about old times. Some of those old stories sounded too crazy to be true, now that we've got so many years behind <laughs> us. Sometimes we all have a hard time remembering what's real and what's exaggerated. This kind of stuff happens to you guys too, right? But there's a reason for this. This phenomena has a name too. How about you? Alright, Nakamura-kun. From a psychological standpoint, what's a key reason our memories can differ from reality? Memory bias. This is it. Right. That's right, impressive. It's a type of cognitive bias that can impair or even alter your memories. Specifically, the name of the phenomenon in question is called false memory. It's like the, na uh, like the name implies, it's a case where our brain may generate memories that simply aren't true. Hey, did you get that question? I wasn't even close. Yeah, ba nice. as far as notes, really smart. Hmm. The difference between inaccurate memories and the facts can lead to a lot of confusion. Still, if your subconscious desire manifests as a memory, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. False memories, huh? Mm. It's totally real to the person, right? What a strange concept. Oh, our grades are out. How'd you do? Damn, I'm dead. Hey, look at that. Look who got the top score. I wonder what score I got. I'm top of the class. Hey! That's amazing. Everyone's going to have their eyes on you now. The most studious disguise scored the highest on your exams. Any word from Akechi? Nothing. But tomorrow is the start of the school festival. Will this be okay? If Akechi-kun declines our offer, we won't have a guest. Huh? That's what you're worried about? I appreciate the concern, but it will be fine. I just need to get Akechi-kun to agree to this somehow. Yep. What's that bastard up to anyways? 
He hasn't done anything since he said he wasn't going to go into hiding. I'm not sure. I'll try explaining the circumstances surrounding the school festival to him again. Hopefully he can give me a response by the end of the day. I'll let you know if I make any progress on that front. Welcome home. Honey, I'm home. You're back awfully late. How has business been for you lately? <laughs> Take a look around. Is the Nijima lady doing well? Unfortunately, we haven't seen each other lately. We had a difference of opinion. What are your thoughts, Representative Shido? It doesn't surprise me that people say our country is lethargic. We've let these phantom thieves run amok. That man's voice. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been hesitant to act. I apologize for any concern they may have caused, and will henceforth search for an apt countermeasure. That politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's gonna do everything. This is an important undertaking, and one I intend to confront with every asset available to me. The selfish criminals enacting this social reform are in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people as hastily as possible is my natural duty as a politician. Man, this guy is admirable. Rampant political scandals, thieves on the loose, as sad as it is, this is the state of our nation. We must resolve this problem. And I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. I feel I've met that man somewhere before. What are you standing there staring off into space for? Creeping me out. It's nothing. I'm not worried or anything. You're just blocking the store entrance. That politician is honest and carries an overwhelming amount of charisma. It feels like a trustworthy leader for Japan has finally come forth. Don't you think, boss? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Criminals, hmm? Well, that must be how he sees it. However, that is ignorant of their true nature. Don't like politicians? It isn't about liking or disliking them. It's more about how he suggests the Phantom Thieves be crushed when they've yet to be arrested. If this Sukumura incident was not the Phantom Thieves, if they only change the hearts of criminals, then even though they can't be considered innocent, perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. You a fanboy? <laughs> I knew there was something special about you. Ever since the first time we met, I feel as though I could tell you anything during our conversations. Oh, that reminds me. I've been invited to a panel at Shujin Academy, and... Ah, uh, wait. I'm sure you know that already. Considering it's such a good opportunity, I've decided to accept the offer. Thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Glad you liked it. I'm happy I could see you. I'll be going now. The kid was going on about some real complicated stuff. He's probably a fair bit smarter than you, huh? Oh, I didn't notice I had gotten a response from Akechi-kun. He accepted the lecture invitation. I heard. Hmm? Really? Either way, the real issue is what we do next. The lecture is on the afternoon of the second day, yes? Wait, you're coming to our school festival? It's during my exam week, so I'll be able to go in the afternoon. Can you afford that distraction? How's your studying going? Decently. Incidentally, will that counselor be at the festival as well? Oh, Dr. Maruki? Probably. I see. Finally, I shall witness his skills for myself. Perhaps I should prepare a gift. They say first impressions are everything. I don't know if I'll even be there. If anything gets confirmed, I'll drop you a line. Much obliged. You want to come too, Futaba? Come on, it'll be fun. Seriously? I don't see why not. We should all walk around together tomorrow. Oh, sounds good. At a time like this? It's the perfect chance for us to relax, though. Haru, um, you sure you're okay? Seems a little soon. 
I am. Thank you. I've just always dreamed of walking around the festival with my uh, around my school festival with friends. I suppose if you say it like that, I can resign myself to enjoying our time there too. Thanks, Haru. It's my pleasure. All right. First things first, we gotta yeah. talk to Sojiro. Hey, how'd the exams go? Perfect. Ooh. I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. Well, then maybe you don't need this. Oh well, take it. LeBlanc Charm. <laughs> I made it myself. It's got my finest coffee beans in it. I wanted to give it to you before the exams, but, well, you still have more tests. Don't let up on the finals. Alright, let's check out this charm. Here we are, LeBlanc Charm. Contains boss's finest coffee beans. No sleep. Meh. And now we are... For whatever reason... Where is he? Oh, right, he's probably in Akihabara. Now, the thing is, the game says this isn't a rank-up. Or the guide says it's not a rank-up, but it quite clearly says it is. Don't worry. I didn't say a word about you guys to those dumb cops. Let's see. Reach out to an actor. Came across some substantial new info. Are you free to hear what I found? Ah, Bron Bond will grow stronger soon, but... Let's hang out. Um. So, you know that actor I suggested as your next target? Apparently he's marrying the idol from those rumors. He probably just couldn't live with himself after what he did to her. His reputation did a total 180 after he announced the marriage, though. People used to hate him, but now all everyone wants to talk about is how sweet and manly he is. At any rate, we can't oppose the will of the public. A good thing we decided not to change his heart. Support for the Phantom Thieves would have really dropped if we had. You mean like it already has? I need to make sure our next target is one we can win against. And what exactly will we win? <laughs> Proof. Proof that we're the ones doing the right thing. Actually. Oh, by the way, I came up with a new plan of attack. If we really want to make you guys famous, we need to do more than just answer promising requests. Right now, there are tons of idiots out there doubting you and trying to influence others to do the same. So, we're gonna purge them. Okay, you really need to chill. Sorry. Sorry about that. Purge is a pretty disturbing word, huh? There's not really any better way to phrase it, though. The truth is, I looked up some of those idiots who were criticizing you and sent them warning messages. You know, something like, if you don't change your wicked ways, you'll be our next target. I'll have you know, it's been working wonders. They totally stopped dissing the pea thieves. There are still some people who say they don't believe, but deep down, they're just afraid of you guys. <laughs> Isn't this great? Plus, now that all those haters are gone, people are putting a bunch more info on the forum. Uh, post uh, after post after post, it's all please and help me. <laughs> this is so much fun. You're worrying me. All I did is find my own way to change people's hearts. I'm above the simple stuff like producing and advertising now. I can change the world. I have the strength to do that now. Oh. Eh. <sighs> Akiyama-kun. Yo, Mishima. I haven't seen you since graduation. <laughs> we actually saw each other here not that long ago. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Hmm? Akiyama-kun? What? Are you okay? What do you mean? Does it look like I ain't okay? I don't know. You just seem... Quiet. Shut your mouth, Zero. I don't got time to be listening to you. Zero. He acts like I'm a total nothing, but he still takes time to try and mess with me. I've changed, though. I'm way better than a loser like him. I even heard he's been hanging out with some shady people. They're all scum. I wish we could change their hearts for the good of our society. Oh. Wait, that's it. We can change his heart instead of that actor's. All right, it's decided. Your next target is going to be Akiyama-kun. Let's see, where's his info? Um, speaking of targets, are you guys going to come after me someday, too? Are you feeling guilty? Huh? You're really considering it? <laughs> Good joke, Nakamura. See you around. Anyway, I'm heading home. I'll send you Akiyama-kun's info later. Mishima's trying to push a target on us to advance his own agenda. <sighs> I should discuss this with the others. So, he just wants to get revenge on a guy who made fun of him. Didn't he give us some other weird request, too? Something about that handsome actor. 
Is Mishima Kun trying to take advantage of us? Apparently, he has also threatened anyone who dares speak ill of the Phantom Thieves on his own forum. Perhaps we should enact a change of heart on Mishima, not this Akiyama fellow. Wait, hold on. Well, wait up, he ain't that bad. Mm, I guess we can find out what's happening if we manage to find his shadow. I mean, he's already worried that we're going to change his heart, right? We'll, we'll probably be able to track him down, uh, track down his shadow in Mementos. All things considered, I think our best course of action will be to defeat it and change his heart. Mm. Shima kun It feels almost wrong to consider such an option. But... Can't have him keep causing problems for us, though. Either way, we can decide whether or not to change his heart later. For now, we must meet his shadow. Let's go. Now. Let's carry yeah, out let's head plan. into Mementos and track down Mishima's shadow. Don't worry, this isn't an actual Mementos trip. Just a cutscene. <gasps> uh, who are you? Could you be Phantom Thieves? <laughs> so you want to change my heart even after everything I've done for you guys? Me, of all people. If you just shut up and listen to what I told you, the Phantom Thieves would get even more famous. And if you did that, I'd get to some of the spotlight too. I wouldn't be just some stupid zero anymore. There's finally some hope back in my life, so why? Why are you so insistent on stopping me? Yo, losers, get out of here. I want to talk to your lead alone. This is all your fault. Before you came along, I knew my role in life. I was supposed to be the guy everyone messed with. I had accepted that I was a zero, even embraced it. But once I figured out you were one of the Phantom Thieves, everything changed. You just had to get close to me. Damn it. I mean, seeing a real life hero do all this amazing stuff made me wish I could be something more. I want to change society too. I want the world to notice me. If I can just make the Phantom Thieves famous, maybe I'll end up famous too. Would that really satisfy you? I don't know. I'm not sure, but I don't have any other choice. I don't have any special powers like you guys. Heck, nobody even pays attention to me. In the end, that's why I need you guys. You're the only way I'll make I'll be able to make a name for myself. I know it's wrong, but if I can't push my way into the spotlight now, when will I? Anyway, just bring it on already. You're here to fight, aren't you? What? You aren't going to change my heart? Do it yourself. Hey. Come on, let's go. I'm sure he learned something if he's been spending all this time with us amazing heroes, yeah? No. No! I need the Phantom Thieves. I need to be famous. I need to. I... Alrighty then. The festival seems to be a success. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. The Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we got Akechi as a guest. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Acting like normal students is going to be important. What do you normally do at a school festival? Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? There's no set rules for this kind of thing. Walk around and hang out, like when we went to the beach. Just enjoy yourself. I think I can do it if I've got everyone with me. You're so laid back. There's a possibility that your name and Ryuji's have come up. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day, too. Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. All right. Now, now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? Oh, um... <sighs> You seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone, and eat at the refreshment stands. 
This will be a great change of pace from all the nasty stuff lately. Shall we head off to the stands then? Let's do it. All right. This is your first time at our school festival. They're pretty good, from what I've heard. I know a great one. Follow me. This is the place. Made takoyaki? New customers. I'll show you all to your seats. So, it's your class's stand. It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's like a deserted island here. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. We heard a lot of rumors even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. May I take your order? Take my order? W what happened to the maid atmosphere? There are a lot of odd flavors. Stick to a normal one. I bet they... I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. The hell? Well then, I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. I'm sorry. We're out of cod, bro. Then how about the squid? Um, we're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. That doesn't even sound remotely possible. Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. Oh, I can see that. Ryuchi, you're making a scene. Then, what would you recommend with what you have now? That would be the Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little time. Uh, let's forget about the octopus and get back on topic. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. I kept hearing about Goro Akechi's popularity. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. Mm. Is the takoyaki done yet? You are so carefree. Does it mean that you have nerves of steel in any situation? Still, it doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechi-kun is planning. Thank you for the wait. Ooh, it's fresh made. Lies, I heard a microwave go off. Well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. Well, one of these is special. Uh, one of them's obviously red. That's gotta be the one. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means... It's like, going for the obvious one is manly. I is that so? Well, I'd prefer the most beautifully shaped one. But all of them are misshapen. Oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Wait, is she honestly going for it? Do you want to go for the red one? Uh, no thank you. Oh, you sure? Alright, then I'll just help myself to it. Not! Oh, everyone's all here. The, the panel isn't until tomorrow, though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes, since a lot of people will be present. Someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were sloppy. I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. I'm going to have one of these. <gasps> the special one! Let's just call this my performance fee. 
fine. Mm. It's quite the... <laughs> Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. <gasps> my throat. This is... Oh, oh, my stomach. It burns. Are you okay? Do you need water? I'm... I'm fine. I just love a... Uh, spicy... spicy stuff. <laughs> hey, does he sound broken to you? Well then, I'll... I'll see you, uh... T -t -t tomorrow <laughs> Wow, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. But did he truly come to simply check the venue? Uh, this isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best tomorrow. We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That a catchy guy, when he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? You're here just imagining things. So, I guess we got through all of it, okay? Yes, but the associated mental fatigue was extraordinary. Being cautious takes a lot out of you. Seriously? I think I'm as tired now as I am after midterms. <laughs> I didn't mind any of that. I just love seeing that detective gulp down the special takoyaki. I had fun as well, since I got to spend time with you all. What would you like to do now, Haru? Walk around a little more? I appreciate the gesture. But I'm satisfied with stopping here. Why don't we go home and rest up? We'll have to deal with Akechi-kun again tomorrow, after all. I have to agree. What will his next move be? Oh? Ah, uh, Juru? Yusuke's missing. Oh, where'd he wander off to? Always doing whatever he pleases. Think he's still checking out all the festival stalls? Let's head back. Well, I'm sure he'll be fine. This is Yusuke we're talking about. Let's head home. Um. Excuse me. Are you Dr. Takuto Maruki, correct? Or you are Dr. Takuto Maruki, correct? Uh, oh, yes. Oh, uh, yes. Hi. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I'm a student in the Fine Arts Division at Kosei High. I do apologize for interrupting your day, but ever since Ryuji and An first spoke of you, I've go grown quite intrigued. Now I wish to speak with you as well. Ryu- Oh, Sakamoto kun and Takamaki-san. Quite. Well, I'm flattered that you've taken an interest in me. You're here about the counseling, correct? Indeed. Correct. Now teach me how to unshackle the human heart and glimpse into its endless abyss. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, hold on there. How should I put this? Your enthusiasm is appreciated, but I suspect there's a huge misunderstanding about what I do. I apologize. I simply couldn't contain my excitement. Would you still permit me to witness your counseling skills in action? That's not really allowed. <laughs> how about it? Oh, but how about this? Why not try out my counseling yourself instead? Me? Mm -hmm. Of course, there's no char- uh, uh, No charge. All you'd have to do is chat with me for a bit. Well then. Very well. You and I shall go head to head. <laughs> I'm not sure what you think happened in counseling, but uh, there won't be any of that. I see. So you are Madarame, sons. It's in the past. No curious. I never imagined counseling to be like this. Well, uh... well, I'd say this is less counseling and more about building a rapport. When someone first comes to see me, we always start with them telling me a bit about themselves. Hmm. A method of self-reflection that relies on speaking with another person so as to sort through one's own emotions. That's uh, rather similar to the internal cross-examination I perform when working on my art. There really shouldn't be any cross-examining in a proper counseling session, though. I just do my best to guide patients in a positive direction so they can improve their lives. 
At the very least, I talk to them through the problems. Or I talk them through the problems so they can make the correct choices for themselves. I see. However, if you're the one leading them to the correct conclusions, are they truly making the choices for themselves? Isn't that just submitting to another person's will? In all honesty, I'm sure there are people out there who think that. Life in this world confines people to certain frames of mind sometimes, and without them even realizing it. If I can help lift the weight off their shoulders and free their minds, I believe the results are worth it. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much for speaking with me. This has been a most valuable experience. Oh, yes. Before you go, Kitagua-kun, what would you say is your greatest wish in life at the moment? Would it be success as an artist? I... No, that's not it. The only desire I have for my art is... Uh, art is for it to improve through my own efforts. I see, then what would you wish for? I would wish for the world to see my mother's painting, for the masterpiece that it is, no matter how briefly. And if at all possible, I would also wish to meet a wonderful master, one who would take me in and guide my brush with care. Hmm. Ah, I see. All right, thank you. At any rate, I must be going now, so please excuse me. I hope we meet again someday. Well then. Tomorrow's the moment of truth, a catchy's panel. Apologies for suddenly disappearing like that. The legend of the lost Inaria has come to an end. Where the hell were you? Did you seriously get lost? I saw a man who resembled Dr. Maruki, so I went to see him. So he was there? Did you go to his counseling? Yes, it was... certainly not what I was expecting. Once this is all over, I think I'd like to go to another session. But try not to cause him any trouble, alright? I'll do my best. Are you all at home? Yeah. Are you still at school, Yusuke? No, I just got back to the dorm. I'm getting ready for bed. Already? Is that unusual? Tomorrow is Akechi-kun's panel, after all. An early night means he'll be able to concentrate tomorrow. That's true. We'll need to stay focused tomorrow. We have to stay calm, no matter what he says. Right. I'll keep that in mind. Mm. It's really up to Makoto to get as much information as we can from Akechi. We'll have to make sure we don't miss anything. Yes! Yeah, like I said, the, pretty much the entirety of this episode is going to be story. Anyways, with that, I'm going to end things off there for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for an upload, and please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.